Yo, so it's my day off. I want to do some fishing. Uh, going fishing by yourself can be fun, but it also can be frustrating. You gotta catch all the bait on your own, try to find the fish on your own. Getting the opportunity to fish by myself gives me a chance to reset from doing charters all the time. And you just kind of never know what we're gonna get into. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go! So in Destin right now, it's kind of late summer, and typically what's going on is around our passes and jetties, there's a lot of black tips and spinner sharks. The redfish are pretty much here year round, and what's really, really dope about Destin is if we can go a mile or two offshore and catch red snapper. I think that's what I feel like doing today. So right now, we're just trying to get some bait, and hopefully we can get on some redfish a little bit later. You know, this is the Destin shuffle. Key thing about thread fins, as I drop that, you don't want to touch these guys. There's like oils in your hands that'll get on the fish and take that slime off and it'll kill them almost, not instantly, but by the time you're getting ready to use them, they're dead. So you want to use still tools like this to help the hookers help you get them off. You don't want to touch your thread fins. The standard day is getting some bait, trying to get some fresh live bait that we're going to go chase the sharks. The sharks have been around the jetties for the last few days. So I thought that was going to be easy, but that didn't really work. All right, well, one thing I like to do is just cruise the beach for redfish, but right now it's kind of gloomy. We got a little bit of rain, so it feels good to like go and show what else Destin is about and what we have next to the beach. You know, we got people fishing and we got some black tips and spinner sharks in the area. So I'm gonna grab a live bait. There's a couple right in front of us. Let's actually check this out. There's two coming right at us. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get one of these sharks on. These are a fun fish and they're not scared of, of too much. You know what I'm saying? There's two right here. Let's, uh, let's do this, yo, let's do this. Eat it. We gotta eat. We gotta eat. We gotta eat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, don't tell me you popped off. Oh no, he popped off. Yo, that was dope. Hey, that is a win in my book. Sight fishing sharks on the beach. Check that mess out. He popped all of that, bro. That was too dope. So going out by yourself is not as easy, nor is it as fun as you think it's going to be. You think it's going to be relaxing and it's the exact opposite. So I see four kind of like at my one o'clock. It's actually now six. I'm just gonna slowly try to creep up in position and get the bait out in front of them. See if we can get one of these guys hooked up, you know? Damn, that's a big one right there. I mean, they're a few feet off the beach. They're hard to, got them. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yes, sir! Come on, boys! Holla at ya! Boy! You see it, bruh! Straight from Destin, Florida. Let's go! Sight fishing, redfish, it ain't no better. Come on, man. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me play, let me play, let me live, yo. Come on. Now, see, here's the trick, is how am I gonna get down from here, fight the fish, put the trolling motor down, Make sure we land this guy. We're gonna figure it out, folks. We're gonna figure it out. You see it. So what I gotta do now is, we're gonna loosen that up. We got, this kind of happens often, is there's a dolphin on my backside. Now usually I'm with my clients doing this and I gotta keep the, the boat in between the fish and the dolphin, you know? Cause those dolphins will get it. Now what's tricky, like I said, is just landing this fish getting down, keeping everything safe, you know. But we make it happen, we make it work. We make it work, folks, come on, you see it. So, it's luckily I do squats, I can get low like this, get low like the song by the Yin Yang Twins. Oh, let's not fall. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, man. 
Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go. Come on now. Pretty, pretty redfish. Now, typically these redfish are super lighter, a light, a lot lighter color, but this one's got some bronze almost to, because what's going on here is that there's a lot of dead dune grass. So they're matching the color of the actual, you know, where they live at. So the dune grass is a kind of dark color. These fish are gonna be a little bit darker today. Oh, thank you, girl. Oh, mwah. Let's go. Trying to catch bait by yourself, controlling the boat, um, chasing down some sharks to try to get in front of them. And then let alone trying to sight fish a redfish from your tower, we have to go up and down the stairs, grab the bait, put it in the bucket, and then make sure you're still in front of the fish. It's actually just a nightmare and I, I don't ever want to do it again. You know, the luxury of a, of a day off and Destin is that you can go from sight fishing the beach to refishing in a matter of minutes. The wind's changing to push a lot of that June grass on the beach, so I can't see any of these fish. So we just kind of come out here, see if we can get a couple of red snappers and play around with some fish out here. I decided to just kind of change gears and go after redfish, but the frustration of trying to catch redfish by yourself didn't really work out. So I decided, well, I got a couple of numbers over here. Let me refish and see if we can get a big snapper and that didn't work either. Everything I caught was subpar. Got him. Oh, that might be a good fish. Let's go. No, oh, it's a baby. I can tell. Baby red snapper. Today is the day of little red snappers and one good red fish. Luck is definitely not on my side. We'll let that one go. On that note, I think we're gonna call it a day, man. It's starting to get a little too hot out here. Uh, the fish aren't really doing what I would like them to do. So that kind of go hand, goes hand in hand. You know, when you're having a bad day, uh, this is why the gym's so important to me is when I'm having a bad day, regardless if it's fishing or business or just life in general, the gym helps me not with just my physical strength, my mental strength, being able to be accountable, show up and push myself through a hard workout when the day has just kind of been horrible like it has been today. So I'm gonna go there, uh, get the workout in, see what I can do and come back tomorrow with a fresh, uh, fresh attitude. Finding a space outside of work to help you clear your mind is really important to keep you going, especially as an entrepreneur. And one of the things that I like to do is go for a run. Um, and when I go for a run, I don't have any music in my ears or any books playing. Uh, it's just me by myself. And I enjoy being by myself because what that helps me do is gather my thoughts, think about the day and get ready for the next day and go from there. So I didn't want to, but I knew I had to, and I was gonna hear about it. I needed some luck on my side, and yo, my homie, she's always there for me. Really good friend of mine, Lady Luck Adventures, Captain Gabrielle. Um, I needed some help catching some redfish. So I knew it was a big weekend. I got the text that there was a rough day of fishing, to say it nicely, and that um, Lady Luck was needed on the boat. So I said, yeah, let's do it. I got the energy. I got the vibe. Let's go catch some fish. Perfect. Bring it down right here. Eat it. Got him. Let's go. Got him. Got him. No! Oh, no, 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 no. Let good, him take good, good, it. Good, Let good, him take good, good. it. Good. Let him I take it. I got excited. Where'd he go? I got excited. Where'd he go? It's all right. It's all right. Is he still kicking? Yeah. My homie, she is 100% always positive. Uh, she knew I had a, a bad day the day before. And after explaining, uh, after, after, after giving her a call and say, hey, oh, I need your help, she shoots me a text. The text is 100% positive. It's, yo, it's gonna be an epic day. We're gonna catch a bunch of redfish. Uh, the weather's gonna be right. And we're just gonna have an awesome day out on the water. Oh, oh, he got it. Let's go! Got him, baby! Let's go! Come on, girl! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! 
Look at them all chasing it. Look at them Early. now. They want to act crazy. Now they want to act crazy, yo. Come on. Now they want to be hungry. Let's Get go. out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Follow him around. Follow him around. Yeah, put that rod tip there. There you go. I'm going to turn. Let's go. Come on, man. LL, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I Dang! Just, I just need a little sunlight. That's on my it. Face. That's it. That's it. I appreciate it. Thanks for asking for that. Let's go, girl. Hey! hey. Oh my God! Did you see that, y'all? Did you see Dude, he that? Came, he came up for yo, that. Yo, man! Talk about bringing it down. I like that eat actually. Whew, that was wild, yo. That was wild. Let's go. Let's go. Dang! And then when he wanted to eat, they wanted. Oh, it's like a bunch of. A bunch of like, I don't even know what the word for it, but now you got a piece of it, so I want a piece of it. I want some of that. <laughs> Come on. If I was, if I threw one more bait off, I knew you was gonna get mad <laughs> no, at yo. me. I, I'm, I ain't even <laughs> stressing it, yo. I ain't even stressing it. Let's go. I, I mean, I, it's so much easier to cast on those bigger rods, but I just like fighting them on this. Oh, small. no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Come on, man. Last time I got to tug on one of these was on this boat. Right? Months ago. In the wintertime. When was that? In the wintertime, winter yo. Yeah. That winter last time. time we could, yeah. Yeah. I definitely had a hoodie on. That's the, uh, <laughs> that's what we got to do more of. We work so much that we don't get to enjoy why we started the business, you know? So, yeah. So, nice fish, though. Yes, yeah, pretty. Awesome. She pretty. Come on. She pretty. Y'all see it. Let's go, Lady Luck. Lady Luck. Pretty mama. Hey. Woo! Yo, let's go. Oh, yes. You, homie. Yo, I'm going to give this to you and let you do the honors. That yo. was fun. Let's go. That is a pretty nice one. one. Look at the spots, yo. She pretty. I love sight fishing redfish on the beach here um, mainly because it's gorgeous it's emerald green waters snow white sand so you can see everything they're usually big bull redfish and you get it's just the sight the hunt it's gorgeous Nothing like an Emerald Coast redfish hey, on the let's beach. Go. I with appreciate my you. <laughs> yes, let's yo. Go. I needed that, yo. Your turn. Uh, yeah? Hell yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Yo, yesterday was horrible, and I appreciate the homie bringing some luck to the boat, yo. Lady luck, you dig? Let's go. That's what I do. Lady luck on the boat. Let's do it. Yo, nice fish, yo. Yo, so after having a rough day and needing some help, I could always rely on my business partner, my best friend, homegirl, family, Captain Gabrielle to come save the day and help us, help me get on some redfish. Myself, I am a lot, right? And having friends that I can call and just say, hey, I got this idea. Cause I'll call, I'll call Gabrielle, I'll call John, or I'll text them in the middle of the night, say, I have this idea, I have this idea, I have this idea. And they never ever say, yo, I'm tired, Lionel, I can't today. You know, it's always a positive, yo, that could work. Or they keep it very honest, say that's not, that's not a good idea, let's do it this way. So I value their friendship um, and having good friends that you could always rely on and call that 100% believe in what you're doing is, uh, is vital. Oh, he, oh, he ate it, 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 said it. Let's go, yeah! let's go, girl, let's go! Come on, can't get any sicker than that right there. Yo, 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 hi. This bump from here, like something, give me some, like damn. That was sick, yo. Come on. Let's go, shoot. 
I couldn't see the bait, but I saw I his was body. watching him, and then, oh, here you come right at me. I thought yeah. I led him too far. That guy was looking for something to eat. Looking for something to eat. Yeah, that was crazy. I cast at him, and those two just came out of nowhere. I thought that was going to be easy. <laughs> That was so sick. I was watching the whole thing. Like he was searching for it, going around in circles of it. And then when he ate it, I saw the scales come out of his gills. That's pretty sick. Oh man, let's go. Oh, come Woo! on, yo. That's come on. About. Let's go. That's a pretty one there. Heck yeah. Y'all see it. Another Yo, dandy nice for me. work. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Someone's keeping score. <laughs> She's ready. Yo, nice work, homie. Nice work. Nice work. Three Let's times. Go. Let's Appreciate go, you. yo. Lady awesome. Luck, yo. They just. Hey. <laughs> I didn't know what to say right there. <laughs> right, Lady luck. Lady luck. You see it. Let's go. Yeah, in 2020, um, Lionel and I went to the Bahamas. It was kind of a promo trip to my future hosted trips. And I actually ended up having to bump the trip up a month because I was seven months pregnant. And my doctor said, no, you're not going in eight months. So I went at seven months and it was an epic trip. I, I caught more fish than Lionel, but it was an epic trip for both of us. So I host a trip in the Bahamas. I don't guide in the Bahamas, I host the trip. Um, they have local guides there that take everybody out. I just make sure everybody's having a good time, show you the culture, show you the island, that's my old home. And yeah, I'm just the host. The clarity of the water, it kind of reminds me of the Bahamas. Now the first time I went to the Bahamas with, with you, that, was that two or three years ago? Two years ago. It was two years ago. 2020. Man, that's crazy. That was in, in the midst of COVID and COVID, everything. COVID, yeah. All right, right. Yeah, that was like the first um, promo trip to get, get content to advertise for the future ones. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. When you talk about future ones, is it something you're doing every year now? Yeah, so I host a trip every year, every December to Andros Island. And, um, yeah, that's dope. you know, I used to live there. I got married there. That's my, that's my spot. spot. That's like Yo, my, it's dope, man. If you've never place. been there fly fishing and that's what we do the whole time is fly fish we both love to fly fish to if fly. we had our huh i see her. if we had our choice that's probably what we we're doing right now but we're gonna try to make it easy and trying to get one of these redfish you dig Say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Uh, uh, that never rehearse. Jump in it first. Call up the nurse with the beat in the hearse. Uh, uh, this is absurd. Take the berserk. Don't get on the track. So the first time to the Bahamas, but the first time I went to the Bahamas, I went with Gabrielle and it was to film and capture the whole experience of her hosted trips. I'm super excited to get the opportunity to go back and experience it as a customer and not have to work. I can't wait to get on the boat and just hang out have some clicks, uh, conch sandwich, and just not have to worry about work. You know what I mean? Got him! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Come on, yo! Got him. Yo! Let's go! That's that Joe Montana, Jerry Rice connection. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Folks, did y'all see that? Come on, homie. I appreciate you. Hey. Listen. Come on now, can't get no better folks, can't get no better. Yo, we need to play the lottery today because we got a little lady luck on our side, you hey, dig? Come on it. now. That Come was on. it, baby, got a little clear patch. Yeah, they, that first shot, Yo, that you, lead left fish came out and just completely missed it. He hit it, tried, missed it. I tried to grab the tail of it. Come here girl, come here girl. Let's go, lady luck, I like your boy, yo. Grab that fish. Bring him up to me. I got you. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! There she Let's is. go! Yo, my hands down. My guy. Yeah. 
You're saying sound what? You're like, you're like I'm not even nah, trying to try. I mean, it's try. a pretty fish. Pretty Let's fish go. is a pretty fish. Oh, man. Right in the corner. Sweet, thanks, homie. My original thoughts and plans was to get out and go fishing by myself. And I thought that was gonna be like a good reset button for me when it comes to business and, the, and life. However, it turns out that having your homies there to joke around takes a lot more pressure off of you than being out there by yourself. So homie, I appreciate you coming out. You know, like I said, we don't get to do this much, but yesterday I was trying to do this solo and it's just not something we do. So I appreciate yeah. you coming out, yo. Hey, I like being up in the tower. It's fun to see you on the bow. I appreciate it. I appreciate, appreciate it. We're going to get you. this, uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to let this fish go. And then how about we just grab the family and the crew and go get some sushi. Hey, sounds good to me. Let's do it. Let's go. I think what I like the most about fishing with my friends is that I could always be myself around them. They don't judge me for being who I am. I can 100% be me. I could ask them questions about ideas. I could say, what do you think about this? They're gonna give me honest feedback. Yo, homie, I appreciate you saving the day. Yo, and remember, stay solid to yourself, stay 100 in your heart, and I promise you, everything will be all right. You dig? Let's go.